Hi, and welcome to Pleasant Hill's 41st Annual 4th of July Celebration. I'm Samuel Chen. And I'm Izzy Triana. And as usual, the City and 4th of July Commission has really outdone themselves this year. Something new about this year's parade is there will be a new route featured around City Hall. Great, now families can enjoy the parade by the lake. Samuel, what's today's fun lineup? Well, Izzy, there will be plenty of fun activities today, including a 100-yard dash kitty run, a 5K run, of course, there'll be the parade, and afterwards there'll be a party in the park featuring a petting zoo, food vendors, and many games. And don't forget, to wrap up the day, there will be an explosive fireworks show at College Park with the band Fast Times performing right before then. Samuel, I heard you were a Grand Marshal at the parade last year. Yes, and I'll be glad to enjoy the parade from a different perspective. Let's go watch the 100-yard dash. Good morning, everyone. How you doing? I'm doing really good, and I hope you're doing good. So, tell me, what is your favorite part about uh, the 4th of July parade? Well, it's more than just the parade. I love the parade. It's so much fun to see all the various kids out here. I especially love the uh, barbecue dads. Have you ever watched them? Yes, play their, I interviewed play them last year. They're amazing. <laughs> and I, I really love all the kids that are involved in the parade, all the, all the young folks. And I really, I really enjoy just seeing all the people come out for the parade. This is a wonderful community. Everybody comes out, they're involved, they love the parade, and then afterwards they have such great activities over at the park, the petting zoo, and all the food, and then the fireworks at night. It's just gonna be a great day here in Pleasant Hill. Pleasant Hill really knows how to celebrate the 4th. Right, and uh, with the changed um, route, now there's even more viewing space and because more people are gonna come out this I year. I haven't seen the new route yet. I'm looking forward to traveling it. I understand it's gonna be really nice that there are more grassy areas for people to sit. I think people are going to really enjoy it. Pleasant Hill is a community that loves to celebrate. Uh, we love to do things together. We do all kinds of stuff. We do the parade. We do community service day. We do light up the night. We do um, hot August nights. We do all kinds of wonderful things. We're a community that likes to have fun and do important things to help the community and make the community better. It's just part of the community spirit. It's a wonderful, wonderful city. and. Uh, this parade and, and the celebration today is just one example of all the great things that Pleasant Hill has to offer. We're American Heritage Girls and Trail Life USA. We're a Christian scouting organization. And uh, this is our first float. We've been in the parade several times, but we this is our first float. The flowers are badges of the different girls that um, that they can earn and the leaves are the different awards that the boys can earn. And why do you think uh, this group is important? Uh, this group is really important because it helps the girls to learn to be leaders of integrity and to put their faith into action. Okay, um, what's your favorite part of the parade? Um, I really like seeing people that I know in the crowd and waving at them because it makes me feel like this is a really small town that you actually know people. I'm here with Jim Bonato, this year's 4th of July Grand Marshal. How are you doing, Jim? Doing wonderful. This is a great day. 
Oh, that's pretty awesome. So can you tell me a little bit about um, being Grand Marshal this year? Like what kind of things you did to uh, become the Grand Marshal? Well, um, I was the uh, chair of the 4th of July Commission for about uh, eight or nine years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we started out, we grew the parade, we, grew, we uh, started the Firecracker 5K run. Fireworks nice. are bigger and better than ever before. <laughs> And uh, so I've been off the commission for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and the commission decided to honor me this year. So uh, that's really I'm, nice. I'm real pleased and really, really honored to be mm -hmm. be the grand marshal this year. So Jim, you, uh, I believe you work at CERT, Is that correct? Well, that's one of my volunteer. That's jobs. one of your yeah. volunteer jobs. Yeah. Um, can you tell, uh, give the audience a little bit uh, about the progress and how well you've been doing CERT so far? Sure. Well, uh, CERT is, stands for the Community Emergency Response Team. And we started about 10 years ago uh, educating uh, residents in disaster preparedness and how to safely respond to a disaster afterwards. So we've trained about 600 people so wow. far in, in Pleasant Hill. And uh, we're organizing the, uh, the volunteers to, uh, to respond uh, as a group. Thank you, Jim, for your time. Sure. And I hope you have a wonderful time at the parade. Hey, this is a great day for Pleasant Hill. And this uh, 4th of July Commission has done a super job in, in growing this thing over the years. And just very, very pleased to be a part of it. We're here representing Mount Diablo Harley Owners Group. We are out of McGuire, Harley Davidson, and Pacheco. And this is our 27th year to lead the parade here in Pleasant Hill. So what do you guys do? Well, we are a uh, riding organization. We're actually the official riding uh, club of Harley Davidson. And uh, we organize rides. Uh, we also um, help out in events. We help out with marathons and things like that. And uh, uh, anyway, put together fun rides for people and, and uh, safe rides. And what is your favorite part about this parade? Um, we, well, we enjoy leading the parade every year. This is always fun for us to come out and we enjoy uh, decorating our bikes, as you can see. I'm here with Council Member Sue Nowak. How are you doing, Sue? Good, how are you? Good to see you again. Yes, I'm doing great. So tell me a little bit about your uh, pretty awesome float. So we decided since every year where all the council members had different types of things, so all five of us would get on the Livermore wine trolley and be one big float instead of separate cars this year. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so it's great fun. So it's community and you get to see all the council members and everything. Yeah, that's pretty we fun. we look all together as one, as one group and uh, that way it's a little easier on the uh, on the uh, spectators too. I love seeing the crowds of people out on the side. It's great community. Um, everybody is so happy and cheery on the fourth. Mm -hmm. And then I love the um, the party in the park afterward too, because yes. that's lots of fun, lots of great activities every year. Could you tell me what Indivisible is all about? It's a group of people who are trying to push back on some of the policies we're having that we don't agree with. Standing up for health care for all, we're standing up for um, for rights for everybody, for civil rights, for, for health care, and uh, for the country, for what we stand for, an inclusive and progressive environment. And we, we have no enemies, we're not, we're not here to oppose, we're here to be pro-America and, and pro-values. And we're patriots. We're all we patriots. patriots. Yes. And why do you think Indivisible is important? It's important because the message has to get out that we are one country united. We all want good things for our Americans. Okay, I think the train's getting ready here. I can hear those motorcycles.
which serves Pleasant Hill and the surrounding areas. Today, Captain Gil Caravantes, paramedic and engineer paramedic Ron Garrigue, and firefighter Morgan Ortiz are in the four-person cab. They have more than 48 feet of ladders and over 1,300 feet of hoses at their disposal when they respond to a call. Their mission is to provide you, your family, and our community with professional services dedicated to preserving life, property, and the environment. And it's a full-service fire agency that provides fire and emergency medical services to 600,000 people across this area, including nine cities and incorporated areas.
Chimpanado. Chimpanado is accompanied by his wife Sandy and his daughter Emily. They have been residents of Pleasant Hill since 1988. Following his retirement from the Army Reserves and civilian life, Jim took to the hey. Thank you. 
Pleasant Hill Recreation Preschool. Learn, play, and grow since 1973. Our goal is to provide your child with a safe and nurturing environment. Our teachers encourage individual confidence, self-esteem, and social skills that children need to be happy and successful. charm and why he and his family love living here. Chris is joined by his wife Deanna and his two kids Katie and Shane. The Tipton family would like to thank you for coming out today and celebrating our country's independence. start their original 1959 Fiat 1200 Cabriolet and we're able to drive it all the way down here from North Pleasant Hill. <laughs> Let's hope they can get it back up to the hill later on. They, they have seemed to have missed the parade theme, however. Hey Stu, it's white, red, white, and bloom. Not red, white, and boom. The Hughes Gilliam family. All right, we've got the American Legion Post 331 of Pleasant Hill. They welcome you. 
We are dedicated, they are dedicated to the development of Americanism within the community. This is done through education and projects or events that promote awareness of the dedication and sacrifice of American service men and women. The veterans meet at 6 o'clock p.m. on the second Tuesday of each month at the Concord Veterans Hall. Come join them. from the Christ the King Catholic School. Christ the King is a family-centered, faith-based learning community in Pleasant Hill, serving kindergarten through eighth grade students in a quality, caring Catholic school environment. CTK provides a challenging academic education that is rooted in the gospel values. And I see, I see Riley Day in there. I see Keegan Day. I see Randy and all of their buddies. It's the second grade class. Christ the King. Thank you, Keegan. All right, coming up, uh, we have the AHA so Movement. The AHA Movement is a nonprofit organization that focuses on anti hazing awareness. Its mission is to end the practice of hazing by reaching out, empowering, and educating our young people. With its goal of keeping your kids safe from hazing, if you would like to learn more about the AHA Movement, please visit their website. Christ-centered leadership and character development program for girls that build women of integrity through service to God, family, community, and country. And Trail Life USA is a Christian adventure character and leadership program for young men. The Trail Life mission is to guide generations of courageous young men to honor God, lead with integrity, serve others, and experience outdoor adventure. preschool and junior kindergarten here in Pleasant Hill. With 75 years of experience, the CPC is dedicated to promoting the social, emotional, intellectual, and physical development of each child. Creative Play Center offers five fun and interactive preschool and junior kindergarten classes for children ages two years, eight months, to four years and older. A parent participatory school, they provide a unique opportunity for parents to actively participate and observe their child's personal growth. Happy Ford!
up, we have the Contra Costa Parents of Multiples. They're a wonderful network of caring parents who have taken on the role of raising twins, triplets, quadruplets, and other higher order multiples. They offer support, grown-up activities for just parents, and of course, lots of fun activities for kids. Now approaching Cub Scout Pack 232. Boys from Pleasant Hill Elementary School, ages 6 to 11. Pack 232 is an active member of the Pleasant Hill community, participating in a school cleanup on Make a Difference Day and scouting for food drive around the Thanksgiving holiday. This year's scout activities have allowed these boys to thoroughly explore the local natural and historic treasures, including Mount Diablo State Park, John Muir National Historic Site, Lake Del Val Regional Park, Rione's Regional Park, Black Diamond Mine Regional Preserve, and the Soldiers Monument right here down the street in downtown Pleasant Hill. <laughs> Diablo, Nipongo, Gakuen, Gakin, and Japanese American Club. Come and learn Japanese at Diablo, Nipongo, Gakin. Gak Gak Founded in 1926, their school has taught over 1,000 students the Japanese language and culture to children K through 12. Also, as members of the Japanese American Club, many students and adults can participate in a variety of classes in martial arts, taiko, and basketball. Come visit their school and their summer Japanese festival the second week in August. Arigato. Friends of the Pleasant Hill Library want everyone to bloom this summer by reading books, planting seeds of knowledge to blossom in the warm sun. The Friends group is dedicated to supporting library programs for kids, teens, adults, English language learners and everyone who comes into the library on Oak Park Boulevard. Friends raise money to buy books and materials for a once a month outdoor book sale. These book sales take in used books donated by our generous neighbors and resell them to new readers donating all funds to the library. Indeed, summer is a great time to be a library friend. I think the friends of the library got the uh, yeah. red, white, and blue decor. Yeah. All right, coming up, we have the Sequoia chapter of the Studebaker Drivers Club. In 1849, John Studebaker began making wheelbarrows in Placerville. He took his earnings from that back to Indiana to make wagons, carriages, and cars with his brothers. There are over 13,000 members worldwide. Today's cars include a 10, 1946 business coupe that has been driven to Alaska and Nova Scotia, a 1952 Commander, the styling came after the famous bullet nose car, Ooh. an orange with a black top, hard top coupe, 1954, a white with a green top, 1955 Champion, an original car. And a 1964 Commander built in Canada, one of the last Studebaker models. A convertible 1963 was Studebaker's last great design. I like that one too. Right in front of the reviewing stand is a 1962 GT Hawk. This is a pleasant little car that's been driven to Colorado and Canada. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this is a 64 Commander built in Canada. It's one of the last Studebaker models right here.
And the final one, in 1963, the Avanti was Studebaker's last great design. The Studebaker's closed, at their close, three dealers bought the rights to the Avanti. This is actually a 1988. Welcome to Gregory Gardens Elementary School PTA. Home of the Gators and built in 1952, Gregory Gardens has been a local stable of our community for more than 60 years. A neighborhood school that is immensely proud of its team of dedicated and skilled staff and devoted parents. Gregory Gardens is a place where young minds bloom. in the community. The volunteer-run community food pantry, clothing room, and layout program serve over 5,000 people every year. During the week of July 24th to 28th, Hillcrest will offer its annual kids camp, which is highlighted in the flyers being passed out today. Sign up as soon as you can while there are still place, uh, spaces available. Hillcrest also has wonderful education programs for all ages. Youth and children ministries, including movie nights, service projects, kids' choir, multi faith programs, bringing faith leaders, civic leaders, and others in the community. They also have a few cars following today a 1957 Nash Metropolitan that was made in England with a four cylinder Austin engine, followed by a 2001 Corvette. 385 horsepower. Whoa, I can hear the horsepower. With a first place win in the Western States Corvette Council competition and a 2010 silver Lexus convertible. Oh, hold on. Natalie Ferrero has been a resident of Pleasant Hill for 14 years. Is going to be a ninth grader at College Park High School this coming school year. Her passion, guess what, is hula hooping, for which she won a contest two years ago at the CTK Church Festival. She feels that walking and participating in the parade will show how independent she feels on Independence Day. All right, coming up, we have IS Kim's MA Martial Arts. They're a family business that has been around for over 30 years. IS Kim's Martial Arts offers training in Judo, Taekwondo, providing classes from traditional to competitive martial arts for all ages. Students will learn values, respect, and goal setting while training in a fun and safe environment. Stop by and bring in our coupon for a free two-week trial. They are located near Pleasant Hill Elementary and Pleasant Hill Middle School near Longfellow and Oak Park Boulevard. And right behind them is the Pleasant Hill Baseball Association, PHBA! <laughs> Welcome PHBA as they promote a Cliff Governance sponsored baseball and softball as played by youth four years of age and over using the doctrine of positive coaching. 
They have been a fixture here in Pleasant Hill since 1958. This is the largest baseball and softball league in Northern California with over 1,800 youth between the ages of four and 16 participating. PHBA is a place where all kids play. All right, coming up we have Indivisible Central Contra Costa County, better known as Indivisible 4C. They are dedicated to increasing civic engagement in the community. And right behind them is Pleasant Hill Aquatics. Pleasant Hill Aquatics is a summer recreational swim pool that provides a safe and fun environment for the community to come out and enjoy their summer. Their swim team program allows youth swimmers to improve their skills, learn sportsmanship as they compete against other swimmers and have a fun-filled, enjoyable summer. The goal of PHAST is to use the sports experience to help their swimmers develop positive character traits and values that will help them succeed in their future endeavors. It's off now. represents 300 member organizations located throughout Contra Costa County. Their mission is to create Their mission is to create an environment of business success through promotion, advocacy, connection and education. The Pleasant Hill Chamber of Commerce has been advocating for the interests of local business community for more than 60 years. Their signature event is coming up. Art, wine, and music will take place on October 7th and 8th in downtown Pleasant Hill. For more information, you can check out the Chamber's website at pleasanthillchamber.com. Hey, they switched up. It looks like they switched up so good. Wait, who is that? Here is the Lions Club from Pleasant Hill whose mission statement is to empower volunteers to service their communities, meet humanitarian needs, encourage peace, and promote international understanding through the Lions Club. President of the Pleasant Hill Lions Club is Thierry Bouchard, and Vice President is Jack Prosek. All right, coming up, we have the Pleasant Hill Citizen of the Year, Joe Stokely. Local businessman and community volunteer Joe Stokely won the Citizen of the Year Award at the 46th Annual Community Awards Night held on February 21st. He was honored for his active participation in many local organizations, including the Chamber of Commerce, College Park Athletic Boosters, and other school PTAs and foundations, and as a volunteer in the Measure K Campaign Committee in 2016. Joe and his wife Sheila have been long, re long time residents of Pleasant Hill. Please welcome Cub Scout Pack 282 from Strandwood Elementary and chartered by the Lions Club of Pleasant Hill. For over 50 years, Cub Scout Pack 282 has been providing a fantastic, actually, I meant to say fantastic, scouting program that teaches boys the importance of good values, community service, and conservation. Boys from first to fifth grades participate in group and family-oriented activities, including camping, hiking, the famous Pinewood Derby, and many other activities. Please join them for new Scout Orientation Night, Tuesday, August 29th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Strandwood Elementary School Library. All right, coming up, we have Play It Again Sports. They are your neighborhood one-stop shop for new and used sporting goods and fitness equipment.
Our ever-changing inventory is what makes us so unique. They buy used every day. Never pay retail when you can create your own discount by trading <laughs> in and trading up. Play it again sports. Stop by today. They are located at 1150 Contra Costa Boulevard, two blocks south of Sun Valley Mall. Here comes the team from Hillcrest Veterinary Hospital, located in Pleasant Hill. Hillcrest has cared for local vets since 1976 and are celebrating 25 years of continuous accreditation by the American Animal Hospital Association. We look forward to many more years of compassionate quality care for your four-legged family members. Happy Fourth of July from the Mutts at Hillcrest Veterinary Hospital. They are a mobile canteen and they are able to serve as many as 3,000 meals a day for large emergencies and disasters. This volunteer staffed rig was deployed in 2005 following Hurricane Katrina, the 2010 Piedmont Lumber Fire, the 2013 Morgan Fire on Mount Diablo, and the Napa Earthquake. They regularly train with CERT, CART, and a few and for law enforcement agencies. These fit people are from the UFC gym. UFC gym is the only gym which offers so many different martial arts, all within 45, their 45,000 square foot facility. They offer over 40 hours of youth classes, seven days a week, with the ability to take as many as you wish. The youth membership also includes free childcare. Give them a call or try a class for free. They have all kinds from karate, taekwondo, western boxing, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, judo, wrestling, and much more. All right, we have the Rogers Ranch Heritage Center. For the last 150 years, Rogers Ranch has blossomed with something from the wheat fields growing today there in the 1800s oh God. to the almond orchards <laughs> in the 1900s. Today, as a Pleasant Hill Rec and Park District property, wildflowers grow prolifically among the Rogers Ranch, Ranch Gardens. Visit the Ran Rogers Ranch Urban Farm and learn how to grow healthy produce and create productive soil. The Rogers Ranch Heritage Center invites you to visit and sit among its gardens or join them as they continue to bloom. Hey, I know these guys. It's Sticks and Stones. Since 2003, Sticks and Stones delivers complete professional service for your bike at your door. Sticks and Stones offers everything from flat repairs to bike fits to complete overhauls. The days of loading your bikes and skis in the car and rushing to the shop before it closes are over. Sticks and Stones comes to you making your life easier. Sticks and Stones services bikes year round, allowing you to enjoy your hobbies and passions 12 months a year. Coming up, we have the Pleasant Hill Rebels Youth Football and Cheer. The Rebels are part of the East Bay Youth Football and Cheer organization. They strive to provide a positive environment for the youth to participate both in football and cheer. They stress academics, dedication, and teamwork to ensure all participants learn values, life lessons, and continue to develop into positive role models in the community. Let's hear it for the Pleasant Hill Rebels Football and Cheer. Here comes the Pleasant Hill Rotary. Rotary Club of Pleasant Hill Service, above self is the motto. The club gives back to the community in a variety of ways, including youth scholarships and programs such as StarQuest, an annual youth talent show. StarQuest performers are riding on the float today. In addition, Rotary provides grants to numerous local organizations. The club is also active 
particular and nationally, particularly through the LN4 project, which provides for a set of hands to those who have lost their own. Rotary meets every Thursday for lunch in the community center. Join them sometime and meet the leaders and doers of Pleasant Hill. Here's the backside of the Pleasant Hill Rotary contingent. Thank you for all you do in the community. Fourth of July from the Contra Costa Country Club. The Robert Trent Jones Junior course renovation is complete. I've tried it, it's beautiful. All of the turf has been eliminated and the greens have been rebuilt to USGA standards, which means it's hard, but it's, it's fair. Bunkers have been readjusted and added and redesigned for key drainage and irrigation elements redone to keep the fairways beautiful all year long while remaining the most beautiful walking course in Contra Costa County. This 92-year-old gem has been polished once again to be a great course for players of all levels. The newly designed golf course is complemented by a redesigned and expanded practice facility equipped with 24 hitting stalls and a separate putting and chipping green. All right, let's hear it from the College Park High School cheerleaders. This year's College Park High School cheer team is made up of 47 athletes. The coaches for the teams are Victoria Carroza and Sean Nygaard. Are you guys going to do a cheer for us? Cheer? A cheer? Are you doing a cheer? Let's, hear it. Let's see a cheer. All right, ready? Here comes the Faith Lutheran Church, located on Woodsworth here in Pleasant Hill. Faith Lutheran Church is an active church with many activities that serve our community, including the Senior Option Seminars, the Backpack Project, which provides school supplies and backpacks to needy children in our area. And coming soon, Faith will be opening an inclusion preschool open to both typical children and children with special needs. We are very excited about this and hope to see you all at our opening celebration. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. All right, coming up we have 92.1 KKDB, Diablo Valley's hometown station, playing today's hits and yesterday's favorites. 
stay in touch with what is happening in your community with local traffic, news, and weather. You can also listen online at kkdv.com. Download their mobile app or tune your radio to 92.1. <laughs> Well, here comes a cute little car. Little is the operative word here. Barbara Lindsay and Robert Cox of Pleasant Hill own this 1931 American Austin, made in Butler, Pennsylvania. This car was used in many movies in the 1930s and 40s by Spanky and our gang, Mae West, W.C. Fields, just to name a few. It is best recognized as the clown car in the circus where 12 clowns would try to get out of this little car. A 1931 American Austin. Happy Fourth. Representing Carlton Senior Living, Pleasant Hill. Uh, Carlton Senior Living is located on Pleasant Hill Road near the Virginia Hill Shopping Center. Leading this group today is Myra Harrison, the social butterfly of the community, proving that age is just a number. She is 93 years young. Let's Yay. get her. Yeah. Good job, Myra. Thanks for walking in this parade. Once again, let's give it up for Myra Harrison, 93 years young. That's awesome, Walking right? Walking pretty darn fast. <laughs> Happy Fourth, Myra. <laughs> Coming up, we have College Park High School Dance, a group of 24 teen dancers walking the dancing that moves forward. The teacher, Miss Disney, will be providing music. Is there music? Are you guys dancing? I don't hear the music. Oh. They're all wearing black, their favorite color with accents of red, white, and blue. Do you have anything else on this? I've never just sat. And here comes the St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church. <laughs> Located in Pleasant Hill, right over by Gregory Gardens Elementary School. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming out today. And right behind them is Walnut Creek's Cub Scout Pack 248. Pack 248 is open to all kindergartners through fifth grade and rotates its meetings all around the Walnut Creek School District schools. Pack activities include camping trips, overnighters, hiking, Pinewood Derby, scouting for food, and many other fun activities in and around the community. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, please welcome Blessed Hill's own award-winning International Suburban Dance Barbecue Association and Precision Drill Team. This has been a truly remarkable year for this intrepid troop of gourmet barbecue envoys. They marched in both the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2006 Rio de Janeiro Olympic Games and won three medals. They, they went on to win the Who Invited These Guys Trophy at the Rose Parade and followed that by marching in the 15th consecutive Inauguration Day Parade in Washington, D.C. after avoiding all the security sweeps again. And so please feel free to be amazed and mystified by the Red Hot Men, well, actually Red Hot and Extra Spicy Barbecued performance antics 
of these saucy showmen. Barbecue utensils there, everybody. And with that barbecue precision team, this concludes the 4th of July parade. Yay! Thank you very much, everybody, for being out here today. And we encourage you to get over to the park for all kinds of fun activities. And don't forget tonight at College Park High School, we got fireworks. I was riding on the Friends of the Pleasant Hill Library float. We had these giant flowers that were like as tall as people, and uh, I was wearing a very silly hat. Uh, it was great. Lot, huge crowds today. This is one of the biggest Fourth of Julys I've seen. And why do you think this event is important? Oh, so many reasons. I mean, the Fourth of July it happens once a year, and um, it's a time we get to think about what makes America special. Um, you're thinking about independence and how we're unique and how we embrace so many different people that come to this country and, and become Americans. It's a special time, and it's just a family time. A day like this, everybody comes out in the park and they're having a good time. You get to see all your friends and neighbors. Um, that's, that's what's special about Fourth of July for me. What is your favorite part about this event? Let's see here, my favorite part. Well. I'm lucky because I get to run the games in the park. So obviously I love the games, the sack races, the crafts. We're launching rockets today over here. Um, all that kind of fun stuff. Water balloon toss. Um, that's great. And the music. we got some live music going on right now. Uh, all of that. The combination, I guess. Yeah, great. How is the new library going? Oh, uh, things are moving along so, so wonderfully. We're really excited because very soon the city is going to um, make their final selection for an architect. So we're really moving along. And then later this year, we're going to really start community conversations. We're going to get everybody together and we're going to talk about the library of their dreams and kind of imagining what the most amazing library possible uh, could be. And, uh, and we're going to work with the architects to figure out what that design will be. Um, and, then, and then we're going to get to the plan. So just a few short years away, uh, we're going to be able to cut a ribbon on a brand new library for Pleasant Hill.
Okay, one ticket, one price for ticket. Commission puts on this uh, wonderful event all day long, starting with the 5K run, then that great parade that you just saw, and all this wonderful activity in the park. They're not done with that. Starting at 6 o'clock or thereabouts, you can gather at College Park High School and prepare to watch the world's best fireworks display.
Just my children and my wife I thank my lucky stars To be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And we can't take that away From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas, I'm sea to Shadow From Detroit down to Houston and New York to LA, where there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say.
And I knew if I had my chance That I could make those people dance And maybe they'd be happy for a while But February made me shiver With every paper I deliver Bad news on the doorstep I couldn't take one more step I can't remember if I cried When I read about his widowed bride But something touched me deep inside The day the music died So bye-bye, Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee Levy was dry And then good old boys Were drinking whiskey and rye Singing this will be The day that I die This will be the day that I die Did you write the book of love And do you have faith in God above If the Bible tells
the stage My hands were clenched in fists of rage No angel born in hell Oh.